Hey everybody, what's going on? It's your man, Corey. Welcome to the Digital Dash, where I be giving you guys tips on how to market your songs and get those numbers booming. Now, for those of you who don't know who I am, I'm a digital marketer myself. I specialize in helping artists like you guys get their songs heard through platforms like Spotify, YouTube, Instagram, and a bunch of others. Now, what I wanna talk to you guys about today is a very important step in beginning your marketing campaigns, and that is determining what your product is. Now, if you're treating your music career like a business, which you guys should be doing, you will know that every single company pretty much determines what their end goal is or what their end product is with every single marketing campaign, and you guys should be doing the same. Pretty much the way I see it is there are two major types of campaigns that you could be running, and those are artist-centric campaigns and music-centric campaigns. I'm gonna get a little bit deeper into the two so that you guys can pretty much figure out which ones make the most sense for you, and it'll help you moving forward with determining what you should be doing in your marketing campaigns and which ones make the most sense for your immediate goals. Now, the first types of campaigns are typically referred to as music-centric campaigns, and these are the ones in which your music is the star of the show, meaning that if you're someone who has a strong singer or a strong song that you really believe in, then these are the types of marketing campaigns and marketing strategies that you'll want to focus more so on. Because of this it's best used when you have a song that you really believe is worth all the efforts and that you really believe can make a lasting impact that will actually help you in your career think of artists like early on the weekend when he first came out he wasn't really putting his face out there that much or really relying on his brand to build his fan base but they were going more so for people who really believed in the song, looking for targeted fans who were actually fans of the song and not just fans of everything else that The Weeknd stood for. So if you're running a music-centric campaign, that means that your music is where all of your efforts should be going towards. You should be targeting all of your resources back to finding fans that want to actually just listen to the song outside of everything else. So typically what you'll want to do in these types of campaigns is look for things like playlists. Spotify playlists are one of the best ways to find people who are just genuinely interested in the song as they can't really see other things about you without first going past the song itself. You'll also want to figure out different ways to disseminate the songs within different audiences, maybe reaching out to different influencers and getting your songs placed into their campaigns and their product placements, or figuring out creative ways that you can just build around the song itself. Now, the second types of campaigns are typically referred to as artist-centric campaigns, and this is where you guys get to be the star of the show. Now, in these campaigns, your brand should be the end game and end be all to all of your marketing campaigns and all of your marketing efforts. You should be trying to disseminate information and videos and content that relay your brand to your audience so that you're bringing in people who are like-minded and similar to you. Typically, these types of campaigns are usually video focused as you're finding a strong visual that represents you and your brand or represents you and your music in the best way and you're trying to figure out how to get it out there or you're working on viral content strategies that help to push you out there and everything that defines you as an artist. These, in my opinion, are some of the most important marketing campaigns as you can build a strong song all that you want, but you're not really a major artist or an artist with a strong fan base until you have fans that believe in you and your brand and there's no better way to get it out there than by focusing on your brand itself like it was a product now one of the best examples of an artist who runs strong artist-centric campaigns is 6ix9ine every single one of his marketing efforts and viral strategies all point directly back to him and not necessarily his music itself so you should be looking at it as the same type of way you are the star of these shows you are the star of these campaigns what things make sense in bringing people back to your story back to your brand and back to you as an overall artist outside of your music so just to recap with you guys the first thing that you should be doing in any marketing campaign is determining what your product is is your music the product are you going to be running music centric campaigns in which you're getting your songs to spotify playlists into influencer videos or finding other creative ways that get your music out to the masses and out to people who will actually be fans of it or are you the product is your brand the product and you're going to be running artist centric campaigns in which you start to figure out viral content strategies that push you your message and your brand out to people who will relate to you and be genuine fans of everything that you have going on and everything that you have planned for the future trust me guys there's really no right or wrong answer they're both campaigns that you'll have to do at some point in time and they're both campaigns that are equally as important and can yield equally great results now as always guys if you feel like you learned anything today please like and share this video hit those post notifications as well as i wouldn't want you guys to miss anything once again my name is Corey, and i'll see y'all next time